UFC team. But uh, before we speak to PJ Jacobson, let's hand back up very quickly to Greg Kramer. Let's have a look at a replay. Greg, we're seeing some fast times, but 14.9, the new benchmark by Tyler Scott on the Vision Wheel M4 XR Suzuki. Yeah, and it could have been quicker because there's a little problem right there trying to get that front jack stand on the post. They finally got it there. That's why the rear tire was off so fast. But man, did they make up for it, getting that back going again. And away he went, as you said, clocking out a 14.1. But here you see that rear ends up. You can see them still struggling to get those uh, those uh, jack points aligned on that front jack. Finally got it there, but look how quick then they recovered with that tire already back on, off, and away. That's an incredible stop. Even with a little glitch, it could have been quicker. Michael? Okay, so uh, just uh, chatting to uh, a couple of the uh, Moto America officials down here again. Uh, more than 14 sponsors actually involved uh, with this uh, pit stop challenge. And uh, the next team, as I said, is the uh, Celtic Racing TSE team of uh, PJ Jacobson. So uh, he's just uh, being put into position already, put the markers down here. So this is uh, another Yamaha second one that we've seen so uh, it'll be interesting to see how this team does in comparison with the attack performance team remember it was 21.9 seconds for Cameron Peterson 14.9 pretty special indeed uh, from the uh, Suzuki there's Nicole Cox just telling them you've only got a uh, little over a minute left uh, everything being timed Hunter Dunham down here himself a former racer and as he said earlier in the weekend he's now on the spanners uh, again just a reminder to the fans if we can just uh, keep this uh, area completely clear uh, guys, uh, just to make sure that uh, we don't have any uh, incidents whatsoever. And uh, let's have a quick word with, uh, with PJ, if we can. We're being told just a little over one minute to go then until this team will spring into action. And uh, PJ, you can see you just focused there, looking straight down at the team. They're in position. How are you feeling for this? And that's a bit of fun, but it'd be nice to win, wouldn't it? Uh, yeah, it would be great, you know, but it's, uh, yeah, we'll see what happens. You know, everyone else is, uh, is kind of fast, so uh, just the thing is not messing up, you know. Have you done any simulations yourself, 14.9? Is that doable? Uh, yeah, we've been pretty fast, so uh, we'll see what happens. We've been practicing, so it's just uh, making sure that we uh, do it properly the, in the time when it matters. Thanks, uh, PJ. How serious is PJ taking this? He's looking very, very serious, looking down uh, at, the, uh, at the team. And we've got about 40 seconds to go then until uh, the Celtic team will be uh, up and running. And there you see the motorcycle now being moved out of the way. Richie Escalante is down here watching the action. Richie, great weekend for you so far. Great weekend so far for the team. And you're in a really prime spot for a good race tomorrow. Yeah, as you know, my team working amazing for make uh, this race uh, very good. So, yeah, uh, nice day. Uh, I feel good this morning. And... Yeah, in the time attack, I'm not have lucky to have a very good draft. So P5, a uh, good pace, so I'm ready for, for the 27 laps tomorrow. Good job, we will see that right then. We are going to move uh, out of the way as we get ready for our third team in three, two, one, go! And away we go then, PJ Jacobson, they've got some good speed. Clock starts into the box gets it stopped nicely done pj off the bike very quick and you've got to say that that was probably one of the quickest dismounts that we've seen the rear wheel is already out front wheel as well oh and there's an issue there's an issue with the back wheel and that's going to cost them that is going to cost them dearly as uh, pj gets back on there's now a problem with the front wheel oh and it's all just gone a little bit wrong what a shame it was a very quick dismount hunter dunham pushes him out here we go then across the line the clock is stopped and we just look at the adjudicator, we get a thumbs up. It was a clean pit stop challenge. And the time we just wait to be fed through from uh, race control. 26.38 seconds, 26.38 seconds. So uh, at the moment, it's still the Vision Wheel M4 X-Star Suzuki that is in the uh, top spot. Uh, whilst we have a couple of moments while our next team moves into position, uh, a big shout out to Bridgestone Tires, to Pirelli Tires, to Mission Foods, to Castrol, to uh, QJ Motor Motorcycles, to Coatsy Moto Latin ME, to Cosmetic Gaskets, to Motion Pro, to SBS Brakes, to STG, to Lindell Brakes, and to Barnet Clutches. A big, big thank you to each and every one of them for uh, their fantastic uh, involvement in this and putting up such a prize fund uh, for this pit stop challenge. Uh, Greg, as I just said, uh, lots of people involved in this. There's a lot of fans, lots of teams watching, lots of sponsors involved. They all want a piece of the action in the 81st uh, running of the Daytona 200. Absolutely, and, de and deservedly so. And you were talking about 
how serious and focused P.J. was. Let's watch this stop. And it all started with things look good at the back. They got the jack there, but little struggle with the jack. But up front, that bike, the front end's not even up in the air yet. So it took a little bit of while. It looked like that back was going to get done very quickly. Then the struggle started. They got the tire off at the front well, still trying to see the back get on, and then trying to get things aligned on the front. Had to move it around. Had to uh, do the old convincer, a couple of slaps on it. And uh, just took a while right there. Took them a while to get that axle back through and snugged up, and that's why that stop took just a little bit longer, Michael. But I wanted to say, just in reference to your comment about PJ seeming so serious, well, guess what? We've talked about it. This is the time when the crew gets a shot to shine and PJ and I, I know these other riders they can reward this crew by getting that bike in there really cleanly and taking it seriously because these crews sure are yeah absolutely yeah all of these teams taking it seriously it is a bit of fun as the sun is shining down here but uh, this is a great uh, practice as I said for tomorrow PJ Jackson I've got to say was probably the quickest of the three teams that we've seen in terms of the dismount he literally bunny hopped off that bike didn't he so uh, really really good next team then is already in position you can see on our uh, TV screens that is the district racing very nice livery on this bike the blue the fluoro orange and the white and uh, they now have their markup boards down there the uh, slick front and rear tires in position couple of minutes that they're given uh, just to do their final checks and uh, Hayden Gillum what he's a busy boy he's uh, already been changed out of his leathers he was on the podium uh, 15 minutes ago and he's already down here in the district racing shirt uh, let's have a quick word with uh, Hayden Hayden you've uh, had a great day on track so far and uh, now it's time for you and the team to perform 14.9 seconds is the time you've got to beat uh, it's doable but uh, you can't afford any slip-ups yeah uh We'll see. I think these guys are, they're, they're going to be good for it. So, uh, yeah, we'll see. I don't know. It's obviously it's a little different than what we got going on here tomorrow. So uh, I'm, I'm excited about it. This will be a good test. I haven't seen them do a pit stop since last year. So uh, they were pretty good last year. So I'm excited to see how it, how it plays up with everybody else. And uh, yeah. So you're saying you haven't practiced this at all. This is the first practice of the weekend. Is that what you're telling us? That I've done. I don't, that you've done. I, yeah, yeah. I don't know what they've been doing. Okay, so it's, it's all on them, basically, is what you're saying. If this goes wrong, it's on them. Oh, yeah, it's not my fault. I love it. I love it. Hayden Gillum uh, always uh, won for a laugh. So the team down here as well, we spoke to Richie Escalante. At the moment, Tyler Scott still in that prime position. At the moment, $7,500 are going the way of the Vision Wheel M4 X-Star Suzuki. Beers for the boys and girls tonight, if that were, or maybe tomorrow night, actually, because they've got a race to do tomorrow. Um, and, of course, the final team that we will see will be of uh, the Warhorse HSBK Ducati, Josh Herrin looking very, very relaxed down here as well. The single-sided swing arm, and uh, now we see the Suzuki already being moved out of the way into position, and yeah, they're just uh, telling Hayden Gillum just to back up a little bit. They want as much speed as they can. A reminder, if you are just joining us on Moto America Live Plus, that uh, myself, Greg Creamer, and uh, Roger Hayden, we will be your broadcast team for the 2023 season. And a reminder that once we give the signal to go, Hayden Gillen will go past the yellow line. The clock will start. He's got to stop in the yellow box. Front and rear wheel change. Three seconds of the fuel and then exit at the blue line. 14.9 seconds to go. We just wait for the signal. We're good to go. Thumbs up from Nicole Cox. Here we go then, the fourth team. Three, two, one, go! And it's a pretty good start. And uh, Hayden does a good job into the box. He gets it stopped nicely. He elects to go off the left-hand side of the motorcycle. The fuel uh, is done, rear wheel off, front wheel already going in. Some really quick work here from the Disrupt team. The rear wheel is already in. That's a super, super quick job. This is going to be very, very close. Across the line we go. We look at the, uh, we look at the adjudicator, and we're waiting there. We good? We get a thumbs up, so yeah. Oh, wow, wow, there is one second between them. One second between them. But I can tell you that with a time of 15.9, it is still the Vision Wheel M4 X-Star Suzuki team. But that was less than a second. That is pretty close. 15.9 versus 14.9. Greg Kramer, as we get ready and all focus turns to the V2 Panigale, the Warhorse HSBK team, the reigning super sport champion of last year, feeling the pressure. Disrupt Racing took the challenge to Vision Wheel M4 X-Star Suzuki. But Greg, all eyes now are on the defending super sport champion. It could not be closer. It could not be more tense. All right, and here we go, taking a look at the replay once again. Uh, good pace, good launch. 
stops it right on the mark. And uh, watching what's unfolding here, just a little bit of a delay right there on that rear tire. Not bad at all. Get that tire back in there. Up front, you can see trying to get it lined up. There goes the axle on the front. Quickly in, same for the rear, down and away. And it was just a matter of a slight bit of execution. Let's watch it from this way. Out and away he goes and uh, ended up with that time of 15.91. So I exactly one second off incredibly close right now uh, between that the uh, uh, Vision Wheel M4 X-Star Suzuki team and Hayden Gillum's Disrupt Racing entry. Great stuff, but as you said, here he comes. Josh Heron in the Warhorse HSBK Ducati NYC team. And of course, they, they did a pretty good job of this last year in the pit stop competition, did this team. Let's check it out. Watch this, in they go. Hits the marks clean, up, up, boom. One off already, rear's on, front's on, axles through, down and away, and off he goes. Uh, that was incredibly well executed, and uh, they ended up winning it as well. So uh, for Josh Heron, pole and winning the pit stop challenge last year, pole and going to try to win the pit stop challenge this year as well. So going to be interested to see this one. Look at that. He's, he's shooting it for posterity, too. Yeah, well, we've spoken to the four riders that have taken part so far. Now let's speak to the uh, man that all eyes are on, uh, Josh Heron, very quickly. He's got the camera on here. So you, you want to savor this moment, right? You want back-to-back uh, -back, uh, wins here. 14.9 seconds. Uh, that's uh, pretty quick uh, from the vision wheel. But uh, if, if any team can do it, you guys can. Yeah, that was fast for sure. I wasn't expecting it after last year, so... Hats off to those guys. It was uh, took us by surprise for sure. So uh, these guys have been practicing on. Obviously, as Chris said, we got the single side swing arm, so it helps these guys out a ton. Um, but yeah, it's just uh, it's crazy. You get more nervous for this than you do for the race. It's uh, it's exciting for sure. So just excited to see what these guys can do. Hopefully, I can do my job right and just get off the bike and get out of the way. So. Uh, yeah, see what we can do. Yeah, because all you got to do is not fall off the side when they start pushing. You just stop before you go over that line, and you'll be good. Yeah. A normal bike, I was thinking we could stop you in and have the stand waiting underneath to catch it, but I forgot single sided swing arms. So I guess we can't do it. Yeah. Sure, we'll let you get ready then. So Josh then goes across. Final few words then with the Warhorse HSBK Ducati team, the Panagali, the reigning Super Sport Championship uh, winning machine and team. And uh, Greg. I just, I just wanted to jump in and say, when we watched that replay from last year, when the bike started moving after they completed the stop, uh, uh, Josh was using every bit of body English he could, Michael. He was literally willing and moving that, uh, that bike, trying to get it to that line fast. Let's watch and see if he employs that same strategy. Right there, look at him, just pumping, pumping. Come on, let's get this thing moving. Uh, he was into it. And once again, for these riders, this is the chance uh, for these crews to shine. They want to do everything they can to help out. Yeah, absolutely. And the motorcycle then being wheeled away. They could have had a few more seconds if they wanted it, but no, uh, the decision is made. The uh, machine is wheeled out. So there's nothing else that the team can do. The markers are in place. Josh Heron now just walks down alongside the bike that he will line up on the grid tomorrow for the 81st running of the Daytona 200. 14.9 seconds. A big thanks as well to Sport Gaia, uh, sportbiketrackgear.com. They're also involved uh, in the promotion of this pit stop challenge. We uh, wait then just to get the signal from Nicole. In fact, let me just move out of the way so I'm not going to get run over because I've been in the wars enough. So, uh, Nicole, when you're ready, just let me know. Nicole just making sure that everything is fair and good to go. We get the thumbs up, so uh, we'll just let Josh get onto the motorcycle. Here we go then, the fifth and final team. 14.9 seconds. The next 15 seconds or so will determine who will be the Pit Stop Challenge winner, Josh is asking the team, are the team ready? The team say they are. Josh is ready. Three, two, one, go! Here we go then, over the line, the clock starts. Into the box. He's got to get it stopped. He does get it stopped. Front comes up, rear swinging arm. It's slightly different, of course, with the uh, machine. Oh, the stand's gone over, but that's not too much of a problem. Heron gets on, in the back wheel, front wheel. Oh, it's going to be close. It's going to be very, very close. Oh, that is going to be close. We wait for the adjudicators. And there seems to be, there seems to be some uh, discussion going on down here. Now, just wait for a second. Wait a second, because this is not over. Nicole Cox has uh, gone straight across to the team here. Now, what is going on? This is, I've been given a time in my ear, but I'm not sure. Ah! 
unbelievable, unbelievable part of the wheel gun. Part of the wheel gun was still connected to the front of the motorcycle. Part of the wheel gun was still connected. Can we just show that to the camera? He's hiding it. Drama at the end. The time, the time was 14.1 seconds, but I need to see Nicole because he still had a part of the uh, bike. Nicole, uh, as the adjudicator, you've got to come down and tell us. We saw you running. I mean, you were so fast. I mean, you got eagle eyes because I didn't even know. I was like, that's going to be close. What is the official verdict? Uh, who is the winner of the pit stop challenge? I would have to say if they uh, left the pit lane with a socket still attached, they would get meatballed. So I would say they're disqualified. The HSBK Ducati team is disqualified from the pit stop challenge. They did do it in 14 seconds, but unfortunately rules are rules, which means that the 2023 pit stop challenge winners at the 81st running of the Daytona 200 are the Vision Wheel M4 X-Star Suzuki team. And congratulations to Tyler Scott. $7,500 go to the Vision Wheel team, and there are celebrations down here. Disrupt Racing will finish in second place. Let's head up to Greg Kramer to see a replay, but drama aplenty. The Ducati is disqualified, and Suzuki are the winners of the Pit Stop Challenge. We'll be talking to the winners in a second, but Greg, how about that? I mean, they uncorked a great stop, but look at this. It's almost like bobsledding, isn't it? You got your push team, and it didn't hurt that they've got a guy built like an NFL tight end at the back, giving a shove. They got moving in a big hurry. Look at the pace he carries over that blue line, taps in right there, everything looks good. Stops going well, rear axle, Tires on, front and rear, through it goes. Comes down off the jacks, but you can see there was that, yep, there it is. I can see that, uh, that little bit, that wrench sitting at the right rear of that bike. There it is, you can see it goes on. All right, wheel comes off, wheel goes on, and it's really, really quick stop. The guy gets it on, but then it sort of binds up. It's sitting there, and they push it away, and by rule, you can't do that, obviously, in, in the race. You do that for the stop. That comes off. Yeah, that comes off at speed, and that can be a very, very dangerous thing, so that's why it can't stay on. That's what determined it, Michael. Yeah, incredible stuff, and, uh, well, the big smiles down here. He's got a Got a job to do tomorrow, but uh, Tyler, $7,500 for the team. Uh, you did what you had to do. Pit stop challenge winner in the 81st winning of Daytona 200. Great job, buddy. Yeah, it's amazing. My first time doing the 200 this year, and uh, big thanks to the whole Vision Wheel M4 XR Suzuki team. They made a great pit stop. Everything went smoothly, so uh, I'm ready for tomorrow and third on the grid. And obviously pit stops tomorrow is going to be a new challenge uh, for you. We are going to see pit stops during the super sport season. And with a pit stop like that and a slick performance from the team, that's one less thing to worry about. Yeah, it's so crucial tomorrow, especially to get the pit stops down uh, really good. And uh, they've been practicing a lot and uh, I think we're ready. I've got to get one final word before I hand back to... Oh, sorry, uh, Tyler. I've got to get one final word uh, from Chris. Oh, there we go. That's the first win of the weekend, mate. First win of the season. That'll do. That victory tastes nice, eh? Yeah, redemption for 2022, huh? So uh, uh, it's good. The boys have been practicing. We we made wholesale changes to the systems that we use in terms of quick change and had the system ready uh, very early in the off season. And, and it's good. You saw you saw the execution of it right there. And so now, um, you know, the, the, that same crew has four pit stops tomorrow, and uh, the Teague Hobbs crew has two. So we need to execute that way tomorrow. If we can, uh, we're going to be very competitive and. Uh, yeah, I'm just, I'm just pumped, man. Um, you know, like I said, we're an endurance team from, from the start, and I'm very, very, very proud and very thankful for the crew and all their hard work over the off season. And like I said, at the end of last year, man, we're going to make some changes. We made some changes, and we made some stuff happen. So bring on tomorrow. Bring it on tomorrow, indeed. Couldn't have said it any better myself. Uh, from me, Michael Hill, down here in the fan zone. It's been a blast yesterday and a blast today. I cannot wait for tomorrow. It's the 81st running of the Daytona 200. I'm going to head back upstairs, and uh, I might go and have a cheeky beer. Back to you, Greg. I think you have earned it, sir. Go enjoy. And here you know it here. Look at that. Look at the money. Uh, $7,500, excuse me, dollars to the winner, plus a grand worth of VP fuel. Second gets $5,000. Third gets $3,500. So that means when we take a look at things, that uh, $3,500 check will be going to Cam Peterson's attack performance Yamaha crew. 
the second place of five grand will be going to Hayden Gillum's Disrupt Racing Crew. And the $7,500 and the $1,000 worth of fuel goes to Tyler Scott's Vision Wheel M4 X-Star Suzuki team doing an absolutely superb job. And there was that little hang up. They could have maybe been down into that uh, sub 14 second possibly as well. Busy, busy day tomorrow. And of course, it's going to feature the 81st running of the Daytona 200. But uh, we have a, a couple of warm up sessions uh, early in the morning. Then at uh, 845, we will be back on the air at 910 is the warm up for Daytona Supersport Group A. Then Mission King of the Baggers warm up. And then our first race of the day, the Roland Sand Super Hooligans uh, second race of the weekend at 1010. Then at 11 a.m., it'll be the Revit Twins Cup second race. And then at 110, after all the pre-race festivities and fun, the Daytona 200's 81st running. That is going to be something very special, as always. And then we wind things up with the second race of the Mission Foods. King of the Baggers coming at you tomorrow here at the World Center of Racing, Daytona International Speedway. Thanks so much for joining us. On behalf of Roger Hayden, on behalf of Michael Hill, it has been great to have you tuning in and enjoying everything as this day has unfolded. Some absolutely fabulous stuff has played out today. It all comes good tomorrow. Folks, whatever you do tonight, please have a lot of fun, but do it safely as we want you back here tomorrow. Bring a bunch of your friends. Tune in. It's going to be great fun. We'll see you then.